Today I want to talk about something that's really disturbing me. And me being a journalist, I write, I write news articles and I pay really close attention to current, current events. One event in particular really disturbs me. But Jesus told us all these things would, would uh, come to pass in Matthew chapter 24. But what happened was the Chaldean Christians from Iraq, they had been living in the United States pretty much all of their lives. They were actually legally in the United States all of their lives. In other words, they were legal. Completely legal. Not illegal like all these illegal aliens you hear about. Well, the United States has decided, and I shudder to say this, but the Trump administration is allowing this to go on. Now, you have Muslims filling up the United States by the thousands. Uh, but they're not messing with those. They're only messing with the Christians, and they're sending the Christians back to Iraq to face slaughter. And I wrote an article on that. So the article is called, The U.S. is Sending Christians Back to Iraq to Face Slaughter. And I wrote, More than a hundred Iraqi Christians were rounded up on last Sunday evening in federal raids in Michigan and will soon be deported back to their native land where they face an uncertain fate in, in a country where Christians are marked for death in a genocide carried out by ISIS and other Islamic groups. Those detained were mostly legal residents of the United States, some having spent the majority of their lives there, but, ha but have had felonies on their record. Now, this is, this is what the Lord's been showing me about what's been going on since 2015 and I know all of you noticed this that since 2015 things have been a little bit off everything's been a, uh, really strange there's been the violence has increased in the United States as well as all over the world and it brings me to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 6 and 7 which says and now you know that what withhold with what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way and the question is who or what is the restrainer in this in this word, 2 Thessalonians chapter 6 and 7. Many feel he is the Holy Spirit because it's not a force, it is a he, as the King James clearly states here. He who now letteth will let and until he be taken out of the way. In other words, Somebody is holding the evil, was, or is still holding the evil back. But the Lord showed me a sign a, cu a couple of, uh, last year as a matter of fact, that there's leaks in the dam. You know what happens when leaks start springing in the dam, water starts leaking out. And I believe the Holy Spirit is starting to let loose, starting to let up on holding the evil back because that's what the Bible says he does. And that's what's slowly starting to happen. The evil's starting to move in where light used to be. Basically, what's going on is most of us, they call us evangelicals in America. Most of us voted for Trump. And the Trump administration is starting to do things that have me questioning 
whether he is legitimately where he needs to be. Because if him being a Christian and him being the most powerful man in the land, he has the right to veto these, these things from happening. Now, nobody's messing with uh, the Muslims that are there illegally, actually. Nobody's messing with them. It's only the Christians. And that's something we need to really pay attention to when we start when we're still paying attention to the the current events going on in the world. I believe that the power that's holding the evil back is slowly releasing and slowly stepping back. And you're going to start seeing uh, an escalation of these things happening. But like it says in Matthew chapter 24, uh, don't worry about these things. Because these things have to come before the end comes. And the Bible clearly tells us that we will be persecuted and we will face tribulation while we're here. But don't fret because Jesus says when the rapture's coming, when the rapture starts coming, we're going to be we're going to escape all of this. And then you're going to have people on the earth trying to make up excuses for where we all went. But that's no longer a problem. So we need to keep in mind and we need to pray for these Christians that are getting sent back to Iraq. And we need to pray that God's will be done in our lives and in their lives because we are definitely in the end times. We are the last generation. And us being the last generation, we're going to see things that they haven't seen before. And the Antichrist is alive and the Antichrist is, is, is walking the earth right now. He's walking the earth right now. So we need to keep that in mind. And we need to stay in prayer. And we need to humble ourselves and ask the Lord to lead us. I thank you all for listening. I want to say a little prayer before we, before we leave today. If everybody will bow your heads. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day. And we thank you for every day you've given us, Lord. We praise your wonderful name and we ask you, Lord, to lead us on the right path. Show us, give us revelation, and teach us and show us what's going to happen. In, the, in these days, you're going to rise up prophets. In these days, you're going to rise up ministers of the word. And your will is going to be done. And blessings will flow upon us, Lord. Because your presence is the blessings that we desire. We pray that you give us understanding and discernment on the end times. In the name of Jesus we pray. In the glorious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I thank you all for listening, beloved. And I pray that you all have a blessed, blessed day.